and blessings my wonderful family thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for subscribing today i woke up to psalm 119 verse 105 it reads in niv version your word is a lamp for my feet a light on my path hallelujah we all need light to navigate this world full of darkness right you and i need light to guide us safely through the unforeseen dangers that await us. Now, throughout the Bible, light has always been a symbol of holiness, goodness, knowledge, wisdom, grace, hope, and God's revelation. What if I told you that God is light? What if I tell you now that God is light? Jesus said, He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. In this verse, Jesus calls himself light, not just light, but light of the world. It was recorded in John 8 verse 12. Hallelujah. The gospel of John explains that Jesus said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. The Bible records he then spit on the ground and restored the man, the man's sight, right? John 9 verse 39 says, He came into this world so that the blind may see. My dear brothers and sisters, you need light to see. You need light in this life. You need Jesus to guide you in all things. You need the word. Hallelujah. John 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Who? The word. Who is the word? Jesus. Jesus is the word. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. God is light. He is light itself. Hallelujah. All light comes from him. At the beginning of time, he created the light to, to dispel the darkness, to dispel the chaos over all the earth. The prophet Jeremiah says, In the day that you seek God with all of your heart, in that day he will be found. Hallelujah. I want you to listen to this. If you know God in this life, if you know Jesus in this life, you will have shalom. You will have peace that flows like a river. Are you willing to accept him? Are you willing to accept Jesus today? All I'm saying is that Jesus is what you need. Jesus is all you need. If you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior, I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Dear God, I have made many mistakes in my life for which I'm so sorry. I believe the blood of Jesus washes away every mistake that I've made and I'm clean in your sight. And now that I'm clean, Jesus come and live inside of me. I make you my Messiah. I make you my Savior for you have saved me from my sin. And now I make you my Lord. I want my own experiential knowledge of you. I want to know you more. I want you in my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you so much, family. Shalom.